What we're going to tie today, this is a traditional dry fly pattern called the Hornbird. Um, great fly, you can tie it in its original uh, colors that we're going to tie today, which is the Hornbird style and the Hornbird color, or you can tie it in a March Brown. This fly can be tied on a size 8 through a 14. It's a dry fly. What we got in the hook today, this is an Umqua U002 in a standard size 12. Uh, the underwing on this fly is going to be yellow deer hair. Uh, for our top wing, we're going to be using a single tip out of a teal flank feather. And for the body, uh, it's just straight up silver tinsel. And for the dry fly hackle in the front, we'll be using one uh, furnace and one grizzly. Thread that we're using today, this is 18-0 in gray. If you don't have 18-0, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and uh, use a eight or a 70 denier works just fine. Come in, start your thread. We're gonna tie the body in uh, at the back. What I'm using today, this is one side gold, one side silver. So if you're using that, one side gold, one side silver, tie the gold side toward yourself. Now, when you start wrapping, it'll be silver. Advance your thread up where we're gonna tie in the wings. Nice tight turns on the way up. Hang on to it, it'll it'll shoot out from under your fingers pretty quick. Uh, this pattern right here, I've used it uh, for several years. It took me a couple years to buy into it. Uh, I just I just never fished it a whole lot, and uh, I found some spots uh, out west and here in Kentucky that that actually produces some pretty good fish. So I'll fish it pretty regular. All right, uh, we're gonna come in, we're gonna clip out our deer hair. Don't forget to take out that under fur. Uh, that under fur will do a couple different things. Uh, one, it won't let it stack in your stacker. And two, it'll hold water and that fly will go from dry to wet real quick. All right, we're gonna come in and measure. We want this under wing to just come about to the bend of the hook. Change hands, clockwise spin to tighten up those threads, come in. Clip that off short, holding it flush tight on top of the hook, pinching loop, two pinching loops, one more to grow on, holding it tight, run your thread through there. There we go, just like that. Now for our teal feather, um, we're gonna make this super simple. There's a couple different ways to do it. I'll show you guys the easy, fast way. Let me get this, find a good one here. I'm looking, what we're looking for is we want that bar, that nice bar, right, like that right there. All right, we're gonna come in, strip this down a little bit because we won't use all of it. Clean that off. Then we're gonna lay that right on top of that deer hair couple loose wraps control it with both hands and roll it over with your thumb if you need to this is going to be just short of that deer hair that's why you take loose wraps so you can control it you kind of roll this around the hook kind of encase that deer hair once you get it where you want it pinch it off with your hand nice tight wraps give it a quick down and back pull that up out your way and then clean that out make sure it's still where you wanted it and we're gonna come in with our collar material right here make sure these are facing the same way and you can tie them in together and then it'll save some wraps Come in, catch these in together, pull everything down, tight wraps. Then we're gonna come through with our initial wrap here. And do nice open turns. You don't have to make these tight. That's why there's two feathers in here. Um, it'll let you control the pressure on that feather and it'll also give you a place to wrap your grizzly. 
So I'll take one full turn in the back of that grizzly. And then I'll just work my way through that furnace. Building a nice, nice collar there. I fished this all the way up to a size eight and it still produces fish. So it works out pretty good. Quick half hitch, two. Come in and clean this out real quick right here. Get rid of those. Come in and clean out your thread. Clear out that eye. You wanna both see what we're doing on the water. Come in, clean it up. Tie off that head, put some cement on it. Hit it with the light. And that's it, that's the Hornbird pattern. Uh, very productive fly. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, try it in a different, you know, different colors. Um, really good fly. I recommend it. Um, I don't say that to a whole lot of them. Uh, I fish a lot of them, but I don't say I recommend a whole lot of them, but I do this one. Uh, this is actually a fan request. So go on our page, uh, follow us on YouTube, uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Turn on the bell icon. That way when we upload new content, you guys get uh, the notification. And until next time, tight lines.